I'm from the planet Gallifrey and the constellation of Castabras. I am the oncoming storm. Trying to roll out. Okay, welcome back to my World of Tanks replays. Um, I'm here on Ensk in a tier 6 match in my Nashorn. And this is a game where I do everything wrong. Starting off with that pile up there. Not really my fault, but I still end up in a pile up. Um, I start off trying to use this tank destroyer like a tank destroyer. I try uh, sniping. Get myself into a great position. Absolutely brilliant position for this map. But, um, but not for the assault mode on this map. I mean, it, it often works out on assault mode in, on, in this map, but not today. I go over to the best sniping position on this map. Uh, it's an absolutely wonderful position in a standard battle. Uh, in a tank destroyer, I will always go here if I start at this end of the map. I'll often go to the other end of the map with much less success. With much less success, I'll, I'll be at the other end of the one line trying to shoot at things in this position if I'm in a tank destroyer starting at the other end. But um, here I am beautiful spot. It's very hard for them to hit you and there's a lot of open killing ground there especially if something goes up and scouts for you. Unfortunately our scout wins the suicide award. He ran out there straight into the enemy and died achieving the sum total of fuck all. Um, but you know something's bound to appear down here We're winning at the moment, and now it's a draw. Uh, we're two minutes into this match, and I haven't even seen an enemy tank. Uh, we're losing now 6-4. And as I said, uh, I've seen a few red markers around, but I haven't seen the tanks themselves. Not a thing. Okay, it's now six all. Uh, two and a half minutes into this match, nothing's happened. I am in completely the wrong situation. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And I think even I can work that out now, and it's time to move out and go somewhere else. Right, so using this tank correctly hasn't worked out well for me. Time to start driving it like it's a KV-1S. This is a stupid tactic and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. This tank should be used to shoot things at a distance. That's why you have such a long view range on it. However, Enemy armor is damaged. you can do silly things like this. Right, you'll now notice that uh, they have six tanks left alive. They have five tanks left alive. Okay, I've made my first kill. It would be horrid if I ran around this corner into this BDR and then bounced. We didn't penetrate their armor. But that's what I do. Luckily for me, this tank reloads quickly. And so uh, I get the kill in time. Right, so uh, I've gone from playing it correctly and doing nothing to playing it badly and having two kills. Please, Mr. KV-1, just sh show me the front of your tank. I'll do the rest. Enemy armor is hit. Oh dear, left him on 12. And somehow he just missed me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about it. I will just take advantage of that situation and get on with my life. Right, uh, Chaos 999 is uh, on almost, f almost. Uh, f well, he was on almost full health. He's. He's now feeling very sorry for himself. He's going up against an 88, which has a lot of armour. And quite a rapid firing gun. And he's making pretty short work of him. We now have two tanks left. And one of those tanks is on very low health. The other tank is me. I'm now being shot by their 88. Take your time, take your time. There we go. I had the health to be able to take a few hits from him, so I did. Now, that missed me.
taking the time. There's kill number five. Now a minute ago, I had no kills and there were only six tanks left on their team. Now I start driving it like it's a KV-1S and suddenly I've gone from zero kills to five kills. They have one tank left now. Uh, I think he's been watching what's happening. He's seen this Nash horn that's got no kills with uh, when they had six tanks left and he's suddenly gone up to five and he's now hiding. I don't blame him for this tactic. But uh, I've been driving this tank completely wrong. This is not how you should play this tank at all. Despite what you're seeing here, despite the fact that it seems to work in this game, I would never recommend driving this tank around like this. I would find, I would recommend finding somewhere to hide, somewhere with good cover, uh, uh, stuff to hide behind, stuff to camouflage you, and then shooting things at a distance. You've got a 400 meter view range with this tank. Wax and binos on there, like I have. Wax and coated optics on there. You can get an incredibly long range view range with this tank. And you can kill things before they know you're there. Right, I can't find the, the guy. New tactic, sit in the uh, cap circle uh, with London lad there and uh, make him come to us. If he wants to win this match, he's going to have to come and stop the cap. Problem with that tactic is, what if he doesn't want to win the match? What if now he's just thinking, well, I'll accept surviving. I don't particularly want to win this by capping. I'm literally sat in this cap circle to make him come to us. If it reaches about 70, I'm going to leave the cap circle, leave him to cap, and continue my hunt for him. See if in the 60-odd uh, seconds I'll have left... I can find him. What I haven't considered though is that he's thinking about the the best tactic to come round and stop the cap from. The, where's the best place to attack us from? So I leave the cap circle going off to hunt and my timing could not have been worse because more or less, as soon as I do that, look what happens here. There he is. Swing my tank round as fast as I can. A London lad, God bless him, has managed to land a shot into him. But tier 6 versus tier 5, he didn't stand much of a chance. Couldn't get a shot at the back of him before he disappeared. Need to keep chasing him now. What I don't want to do though is spin round this corner and find myself running into a shot from him because he's not quite a one shot kill for me. And now I don't know where he is. So swing round here, see what happens. Oh look, there he is, and there's his back. And I set him on fire. And look at that. From playing it wrong, from getting it bad, doing everything the wrong way, I've gone and got myself a Top Gun. Awesome. And here are the results of that. Uh, as you can, as you can see, as you know, I didn't get involved in this uh, game very quickly. I spent uh, the first the first two and a half minutes doing it completely wrong. And then, when I did get involved in the game, I did everything wrong. But there were only six tanks left by the time I got involved. Uh, I saw them all, I shot them all, I killed them all. Uh, hence, if you look down there, all of those dead tanks. Uh, got myself a Reaper. Destroy, destroy three or more enemy vehicles in a row with a single shell each. Yeah, I don't really care about that. You've got several of them not that impressive. What I did get myself though was a top gun. Now at one point in this game I didn't envisage this happening at all. Somehow I went from 
having no kills to having six in almost no time whatsoever. Um, never got a top gun with this tank before. Uh, so this was a proper result here. Um, I did everything wrong. Everything in this game wrong. Went to the wrong place. Uh, didn't have anything to shoot at. Drove the tank the wrong way. And somehow it all came together and gave me a top gun. As well as uh, as well as being my first victory for of the day while there's a times three experience on for the first victory of the day so I get myself a buttload of uh, XP for it which I convert into bonus XP which I use to buy better tanks I also uh, completed a mission I got myself 75,000 extra credits on this so as well as the 27,000 credits on there I've got some so over a hundred thousand credits for this game uh, if we move on to the team score there I am at the top uh, most XP didn't get the most damage but um, but hell the way I drove around at the end it got me uh, a good amount it got me the most XP and I did a good amount of damage mopped up everything that was left for me but uh, that's really not how you should do it looking at the detailed report there uh, I shot nine times hit all nine of them, bounced that one on the BDR but every other shot I took went through I was hit twice by that 88 um, both of them penned me and did me damage potential damage received 300 it's going to happen, uh, enemies spotted none enemies damaged 6, enemies destroyed 6 uh, if you look there you've got the credits I received plus the uh, plus the reward for completing that mission uh, once my damage is paid for and my credits are paid for almost identical amounts I walked away with just shy of a hundred thousand credits for that game 97,000 credits um, yeah I don't know what I'm trying to tell you with this game because that is not how you should play it I got incredibly lucky and it just happened to come off but if you can learn anything from this game don't do it that way don't do what I did everything in that was wrong it just happened to come together for me this once um, anyway I hope you enjoyed the game and I'll catch you next time bye